Hey everybody, Cypherboy here, and today I am going to be playing the game Rebuild 2, which I've played before on my iPad and my Kindle Fire. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. My name is Sergeant Thunder, and I might I may be the last man alive. I've been on the move for so long, running from those things, those monsters that used to be human. They were bakers, programmers, teachers, neighbors. Now they sniff the air like wolves, and their dead eyes watch endlessly for the movement of their prey, me. I'm down to a few supplies and my trusty binoculars. I'm so tired that I have to get to the city before nightfall. I'm not alone. I finally made it to Edmonton and was so excited to find other people that I almost got myself killed on the way to their fort. They've walked off four blocks of this typical city, but they don't know what to do next. I've decided to join up with them, to lead them, to put my feet down here and stop running. Taking back the city is going to be kind of tough, but we're prepared to do what it takes to reclaim this place in the name of humanity. Today, we begin to rebuild. So, we're starting off with four blocks of the uh, city. And we need to probably grab this hospital here. So I'm going to scrav it, scavenge for scraps. <coughs> So let's begin that. We need the farm. So let's um let's see. You'll only find uh equipment from twelve percent, so that's pretty low, but we need to grab that farm. We found a science book in an abandoned car on the way back from scavenging. It's crazy the things people wanted to bring with them. They used to say when the world ends, all that's going to be left are roaches and Twinkies. Well, they were right about the Twinkies anyway. These things never go bad. So, let's see. If this thing would work, I can click on something. There we go. I say we go ahead and kill the zombies. Um, let's have her do something as well. So, for... Let's grab them all because that'll give defense to the buildings. I mean to the ward off part. Looks like there's a survivor there and food to get. So let's see if I can grab that'll have to do. Hopefully it works in day two. Recruitment went well. A soldier joined the fort today. That makes eight of us now. A little, a happy little family. So let's... You know what? I'm trying to click out of that, but it's not letting me for some reason. There we go. Let's get rid of the zombies and grab the um grab them off for defense. <coughs> and of course we have a zombie attack when everybody is out of the um compound. 
the laws held. Zed made a mess out there, but everybody kept their cool. So I need to be more careful about that. Everyone's a little shaken up by the butt alive. Ever seen a zombie's head explode? Today I saw two. We met a soldier who came from south of the city. He agreed to come back with us and, and join the fort. So what? Let's see. Let's go ahead and reclaim the area. It'll take five people, I mean five days for these two. Which is unfortunate, but needs to be done. But I think I'm going to hold off on the farm for now. And hope the zombies don't come back again. That idiot Mio King decided to do some target practice against the side of a building while we were scouting them all. Sure enough, Zed comes running. They may not think so well no more, but their ears are their s are sure keener than ours. So that's one person gone. Let's reclaim the area. That'll also be five days, unfortunately. <coughs> um, okay, so the zombies are back, so I'm going to hold off on doing anything with that. And just fast forward through the days. So I did record this game uh, early this morning. However, the sound was so loud in the earpiece when I was listening back to the um, video that I decided to um, redo the whole thing. Because that thing was kind of loud, so I didn't want anyone's, anyone to get mad with that, so... Gustav the Traitor. He's in all the games. A merchant came by today in a heavily armored caravan and introduced himself as Gustav the Traitor. We swapped him some trinkets for a crate of clementines. A leader showed up at our front gates today with a truckload of supplies. She checked out the fort and asked if she can join us, insisting we take and div divvy up her supplies and trade. Edmonton General is secured and open for business. Now, if I could find a doctor to look at this itchy green gunk growing between my toes. That's kind of gross, though. So, kill more zombies. Do that. So, I've got room for three more people. Uh, let's see if I can get the new leader to go out and recruit more people. Let's get as many as I can and hope for the best. We've been targeted by the Last Judgment Gang, who raided us last night and stole our food. They were dressed like Catholic priests and yelling something about us being punished for our sins. Now that I've spent some time in that mall, I think it would be a good place for us to build some extra defenses. It worked for those guys in Dawn of the Dead, right? Actually, I never saw that one. This soldier, Ben Warren, was so desperate for some solid walls between him and the zombies, he just about jumped into our arms. Welcome aboard. So that's extra people now. Uh, let's go get the zombies. 
I have enough room for two more people. So I need to grab the houses next and also the uh, apartment buildings. If this would do anything that is. So let's have both of them. The zombie condition. There's some controversy over a book one of our survivors has been writing called The Zombie Condition. The author glorifies the disease as a gift, which upsets some people. Should we ban the book? I say yes. Fans of the book aren't happy about the ban, and I suspect they'll keep passing copies of it around in secret. I didn't know zombies could swim before today. We found one of them in the swimming pool, kind of bobbing along at a neutral buoyancy. Seemed to be enjoying itself. We ran into a survivor, but she didn't trust us, so we'll have to come we'll have to try again later. So let's for the moment reclaim the area. See if any more people can. Here, let's get Maria out there to be a builder. Um, we need to probably scout the surrounding areas. Especially the police station, because we need to add that to our defense, along with this other mall. That's kind of crazy though, two shopping malls like within one block of each other. Hack and Slash cleared zombies at the, par the farm. I love the smell of charred rotting flesh in the morning. Smells like victory. So, sounds like a little psychopath around. I met a guy in the suburb. He seemed pretty slow socked, but if we can't come back to recruit him, he might be useful in the fort. This suburb looks like a bad place to live, but there's at least one guy trying to do just that. We should invite him to join us and give him some decent digs. So let's go ahead. Get rid of the zombies. I don't know if it's my internet connection or the browser that's keeping the game from working as well as it should be. The trader, Gustav, is at the gates with some crates of food. He's offering 15 days ration for our, our unused science book. Should we trade? We don't have a scientist, so I say, go ahead. We sold our science book to the trader for some much needed food. So, that's a good thing, and we need to quickly get that other farm. So, trying to end the. Ever seen a zombie's head explode? Today I saw six. These well armed guys called the Granville Rifts rode through in, in a Humvee convoy today and killed a bunch of the Zed around the forts. They said they were just doing it to help out, no payment needed. 
area is secure. This farm is part of our territory now for as long as we can keep Zed on the other side of these walls. So that bumps up the food to minus four each day. <coughs> we still need to buy or get some more. Um, okay, ten crops. So let's have that one. Ten the crops. Should have had someone there um, to begin with. Someone with level one, that's good. We just need that one and that one soon. Is that one finished? Reclaim area. Um, let's see. That doesn't really boost the amount of days that I, that is used, but so I'll just use the one person. Meanwhile, this one can be recruited since I couldn't get the other one. Ninety-five percent hope that actually works this time. For this one, reclaim area. Let's get that one on the job. Five days. Better than nothing, though. Let's kill the zombies here. Okay, let's see if that will work out. Ken French came down with a fever and a cough recently. Um, good thing we have that hospital now. We were able to quarantine him and get him on some antibiotics. I knew grabbing the hospital first was a good idea. <coughs> we convinced a soldier to leave his pathetic squat in the suburb and come live in the fort. He seems pretty green, so we'll see how long he lasts. So let's get rid of the zombies. I don't know or I don't remember if I grab uh, the things that have not been scavenged yet if that'll um, add to the resources or if that's a lost cause so there are only two ways to kill a zombie, destroy the brain or burn it to a crisp. I'd say we just about turned the second method into an art farm today. what we can do. Is that going to help? They call me the co cowboy of Edmonton because I hurt him and I rope him then I give him a hammer gun to the temple. 
We met a young dog in the suburb. He didn't seem scared of us at all, and after I fed him some jerky, he followed us all day. I named him Clifford. Hope he cheers some people up. So, let's reclaim the area now. Instead of her, let's get the level one. Uh, soldier instead because the other one may need be na uh, may need to be used for a defenses or something don't, don't mess with the rifts they are armed to the teeth with skills to match we stayed out of their way and just let them do their job I fortified the cop shop which is more secure than most buildings, so it should help us spin off the Zed. It will make a good staging point for organizing defense. So let's see if... Okay, no um, scavenging from that part. <coughs> so let's go scavenging in that suburb and see if I can... If this thing will work, I do think it might be the um, browser, though. Let's give her a clip for the dog, send all of them out, see what they come back with. A wandering soldier came by Edmonton today, looking for some place to call home. We welcomed her in and gave her a tour of the place. Guess she liked what she saw because she's decided to stick around. My shoulders are aching from lifting all that heavy stuff. Hope I can just take a, do a day off soon and just rest. We found a baseball bat in the old suburb. So now we can reclaim the area. Um, go ahead and start. That'll take a few days, or four days. Let's go scavenging in the meantime. And hope for something good. We smoked them this time. We fended them off for another day. Gustav came by today to trade. He's got his eye on our baseball bat and offered five days rations for it. Should we trade? Uh, this time, no. Gustav promised he'll be back next week with another deal. I've always dreamt of having a little cottage with a white fence like this one we just uh, secured. Minus the rotting corpses, corpses of former owners, of course, but nothing's perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's okay. get on with it already. God bless the jerky. It's the first real meat I've eaten in three months. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else can we scavenge, scavenge for more scraps? Try it again and see what happens. See what how much time is. We laid down some rat traps and came back later in the day to collect them. If you cut it up in 
or small and cook it in a broth, nobody even has to know. Scavenge again. We fought the gang off when they tried to raid us last night. One of them didn't even have a weapon. He was just reading from his Bible in a loud voice something about retribution. So I've already saw and read that message before. We found a megaphone in an abandoned car on the way back from scavenging. It's crazy the things people wanted to bring with them. So that will be good for the leader, I believe. Oh, I should do the layer things for it also. So that's a leader equipped with megaphone. There we go. Um, Captain Valentine can grab the baseball bat. Let's do the layer things. Which shows us all the spaces we need. So let's get rid of the zombies now. Evans came down with a fever and a cough recently. Good thing we have that hospital now. We were able to qu quarantine her and get her on some antibiotics. Okay. <coughs> I waddled the suburb as safe as we can make it. So that's extra things. Although we should probably grab that farm right here before anything else. So let's scout. We caught word of something unusual approaching our little fort. Zombies, at least 30 of them, moving in an almost organized fashion towards us. So it'll be a few days before they show up, I think. What if the zombie disease is a fungus, like that Cardiceb stuff that gets into Ed's brains and controls them, drives them around like a car, just saying it could be. I met, I met a guy in the big farm. He seemed pretty shell shocked, but we c if we come back to recruit him, he might be useful in the fort. So, let me check the time going on 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to end the episode here and save it, and then I can uh, continue on later on. So if you couldn't figure it out, um, this was a rushed uh, video done at the last minute, so anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content, uh, turn on the notification bell, and leave a comment below if you want to. So with that being said, bye.